Project management can be a quite complex task. You've got to keep an eye on so many things. The planning, deadlines, the costs, assignment of tasks, etc. etc. So, it would be nice if you would have a program which will help you organize your projects. And Task Juggler is such a program. Task Juggler is a free and open source application for project management. It was or maybe is still used for the project management behind the GNU slash Linux distribution Fedora. So it must be quite good. I came across Task Juggler while I was looking for an application to make Gaunt charts, which is one thing Task Juggler can do. But of course, it can do a lot more. In this video, I want to show you some basics about how to use Task Juggler. And if you're interested in more, just look at the documentation. And now I want to show you how to use it on a simple example. But before I start, let's talk about the installation process. So if you're running a Debian based Linux distribution, you can download Task Juggler from or with your package manager. All you have to do is run sudo apt install tj3 and this will install the application. Um, I use Arch Linux here for Arch Linux. Um, you can find Task Juggler in the AOR and you can build it from there. So what I will use today is I will just use the terminal program tj3. So yeah, which is a terminal based application. And what it does is it takes a text file with all the information about your project and compiles it to the output you have specified in this file. And now I want to show you how to create such a file and how to compile it. So I will go into my temp directory because I don't want to save this file temporarily. And I will create a new file called fanshop because in my example project we will build a GNU slash Linux merchandise fanshop. And as a file ending I have to choose tjp, which I believe stands for Task Juggler Project, because um, t oh, tjp, yeah, because um, tj3 only accepts files with this ending here. So here we have a plain text file. You can use your favorite text editor. I will use Wim here. And with macros, you can set up your project. The first thing you need is you have to specify your project. For this, we will need the project macro. The next thing we can give here is an ID if we want to refer to this project. I'll call it fanshop here. And now I have to give a string with the full project name, which will be GNU Linux Merchandise Fanshop. Oh, sorry, yeah. The next argument is a start date for our project. So let's say our project will start on the 1st um, September this year. And now we can specify how long the project will go. One option is we could just write plus 6m for plus six months if the project should go for six months from this from the start or what i will use here is i will write minus and then i will use an end date so let's say the project will go to the first of april for example now we could specify some global project settings like um, like time formats, currencies, and so on. But for the simple tutorial, I will skip that. The next thing is we have to set up the team which is working on the project. So I will add a comment here, set up team. And you can use these C-type comments. So this will work as well. So comment two, okay. And if you want to create a new team member, you have to use the keyword resource. And with Task Juggler, resources are both work items or team members. And the syntax is quite similar. First, we have to give a macro, then an ID to verify this um, resource. And then I can type a full name. So here 
lets me tackle a stalk. And there's a small comment, I type leading software developer. Preston will be our next employee. Full name is Preston Picklesworth. And he will be our second software developer. And then the next resource will be Katrina and full name is Katrina Katrina Vitals and she will be our web dev. And let's add one more person to the team. Let's meet Marcus. Marcus Mouse is the marketing guy. So now we have all the workers on this project and if I want to form a team I can do this by adding a new resource here with the ID software, software team, and I will type software team here, and let's um, put Preston and Hackless in the software team. Okay, and now let's specify all the tasks for um, creating our GNU slash Linux fan shop. So syntax is just the same, task, here is the ID, and I will call this task preparation for project. And this task has several subtasks, so I use these curly braces here. Okay. So we have one task which will be um, definition of requirements, for example. So this task should start on the 1st of September. Um, I want Hackless and Katrina working on this um, on this task. So I will allocate Hackless and I'm using the ID here. I will allocate Katrina here and then I can use an effort here. Let's say this will take four weeks. Or you can also write 20D for 20 days, but I will use for weeks here. Okay. Then our no next task will be um, will be definition of interface. And you see, I don't use an ID here because I don't want to refer to this task later. This task depends on the task requirements. Um, I will allocate Hackless. I will allocate the whole software team here, and I will allocate Katrina here too. The effort will be six weeks, so this will take some time to set up the whole interface. Okay, so much for for our first task group. Then the next task will be the software development. And here I will create some subtasks too. So we need a back end coding back end. And this will be done. This depends on the preparations because we need the interface and the requirements to do this task. So I can write depend prep here. I will allocate the whole software team here. And let's say it's a quite um, complex interface, so they will use 24 weeks for building the interface. Oh, um, the code, the back end. If we have a back end, we will have a HTTP front end too. This will be done by our um, web developer, Katrina. Um, it depends on the preparations too, and the effort, let's say, is just six weeks because, yeah, the front end isn't so heavy in this case, for example. So, and then we will need another task. We have to test testing, and here I will allocate Katrina and 
Princeton will help with the testing. Um, it depends on the back end and it depends on the front end. And the effort will be eight weeks here. And these are the software tasks. And let's create one more task for our marketing guy. Um, advertisement and marketing brochure. Let's say this is one task. This task depends on the um, requirements. And if we want to specify um, to say this depends on the requirements, I will write prep dot requirements. I will allocate markers for this tasks and the effort will be, let's say, four weeks for this. OK, so now we have assigned the tasks. We have defined it. We told we estimated the efforts and we um, and we clarified the dependencies. So now let's create the output. So let's say we want a task report, which will be our Gantt chart. So we call it Gantt Fan Shop. And the format will be, a, I want to have it in as a HTML file. And let's make one more report, a resource report. Here we see when which resource is booked. Um, Resources, fan shop, okay. Formats will be HTML2. And now I specify which information I want to have in the columns. So I want to see the name and a chart here, okay. And if I haven't made a mistake, that's, that's it. That should be it. So maybe one more thing. Our project goes over Christmas and Everyone likes to have Christmas holidays. So let's make two weeks holiday for Xmas. Okay. So here I have to type vacation. The name of, or the reason for the vacation is Christmas. And now we can put a start date in here. So our Christmas holiday begins on, on oh, this is a little bit late for Christmas holiday. Yeah, let's say Christmas holiday begins here and it will go to, yeah, this should be about two weeks. And now every resource has holiday over Christmas. So now let's try to compile it. For this, I will call TJ free. And here I have to specify my um, TJP file here. Let's compile it, okay. Vocation, yeah, that's wrong. It should be vacation. Vacation, okay, let's try it again. Column, columns, okay, it should be columns, but okay, wrong keyword. Uh, yes, unknown depends back, okay. So let's look at. This task, testing with problems, front, back. Oh, okay, I forgot. Please. Okay, and now we can see we have two more, or let's make it this way, two HTML files created here. One is our gun chart, and the second one is our resource fan shop. And now let's open it with Firefox, which is my web browser. Okay, here we are now. So here we have our Gantt chart. So we can see all the tasks, the start and the end of the tasks, and we can see the dependencies with these um, errors here. So for example, we can see um, preparations are done end of September, the software development is done on um, beginning of February, and here we can see the whole team is on vacation. Yeah. And in this column, we can see the efforts. And now let's look at the task assignment assignments. 
So we can see here our web developer is booked for the requirements. And then she has some free time or time she could use for other projects. And back here on testing, she will be needed again. Marcus and my marketing guy is just um, is just working on this project for about four weeks. And the software team is, you can see its tasks here. And you can see Preston has a little bit more time to come into the project, but Heckless is, yeah, will finish it, will finish his work for the project earlier than Preston will. Okay, great. So this is the raw basics about how to use Task Juggler. Of course, I haven't mentioned much, but if you look here, here we can find a link to the official website of Task Juggler, and here we have the documentations or examples. So if you want to learn more about it, just take a look at it. And maybe the last thing, maybe you have wondered where I get all these names from. So here on this site, hackless.org, you can find some old Linux comics, but they are still pretty good. So yeah, if you're interested in them, just take a look at them. Okay, I guess that's it for today. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and goodbye.